Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a glowing um, glowing metal text uh, or like really hot red hot uh, metal text so and it's like a transition so it goes from cold into hot and you just saw the render how it looks when it's rendered so that's what we're going to be creating today it going from call cold to hot and the material is going to look pretty nice too so I'm going to render it again, show you guys again what it looks like. All right. Um, one thing I want to do before we start is give a shout out to uh, the Marky show and his link is going to be in the description of this video. Please check him out. Give him a like, subscribe if you like his channel. Uh, just show him, show him some love and yeah, I'll appreciate that if you do that. But now let's start with the tutorial. So go to Cinema 4D and I'll go to File, New. All right, let's just create a text right off the bat. So go to MoGraph, Mo Text. All right, uh, just click on the text selected, go to uh, Object and change the font to whatever you like. I'll just quickly change the font to something. And no, no, that's not good. Uh, yeah, that's that will do. Uh, okay, so now let's uh, create a new material and double click in the materials tab and double click on the new material you created. Okay, actually no, never mind. Uh, sorry, you can delete that that material. Um, I'll put a link in the description uh, of this material here, uh, this texture, this metal texture. So what you do with it once you download it, so go to that link, download it or get one off of Google or something. Uh, so what you do now is drag it into Cinema 4D and drag it into the materials tab. Okay, and click no, you don't need to save it unless you want to. All right, and um, don't look on the material that you just placed in there. All right, so uh, now right off the bat, let's select diffusion okay so check check it off all right and uh, also check off luminance okay and check off reflection so it's gonna affect luminance specular and reflection all right so go to go back to color and right click on texture right here and click on copy and then go back to diffusion right click on texture and click on paste so that's gonna paste the texture of the metal into diffusion all right um, okay so now let's uh, select luminance so check off luminance and again right click on texture click on paste okay it's gonna paste this texture into luminance now okay and uh, let's change the mix mode of uh, the material uh, or the texture here in luminance to multiply and then let's change the color over here at the top to a kind of reddish orangish color okay and let's increase the brightness of this color to maybe well it's up to you how much you want the brightness to be I'll just put it up to 170 I think that's good enough okay and then uh, click on this uh, kind of like arrow it's gonna drop down a menu here and select uh, filter right here okay and then click on uh, filter over here and then um, uh, increase or decrease the contrast to minus 55 something like that all right, and now let's select reflection. We don't really need it, but so it looks neat, we can put it in there too. And then once you select reflection and check it off, um, so right click on texture again, click on paste, okay, and uh, change the mix mode again to multiply and change the brightness on the color right here on the white color to maybe uh, 40, 40 is about good, uh, maybe 25, I don't know, 
that yeah 25 is pretty good actually for metal all right so uh let's see what else can we put in here um let's check off bump also and again right click on texture and click paste okay and that's gonna paste the texture too and increase the strength all right to like 140 that's pretty good okay and let's see what else let's check off glow also so check off glow then go to glow and inner strength reduce that to maybe 20 percent and outer strength uh maybe 20 also 20 percent is good okay and if you missed anything just uh just rewind and kind of pause at wherever you missed something all right and now we can exit this uh material now let's put it onto the task text and let's um select it here click on it over here where it's beside the text where it's like a tag so texture tag select it and then this menu should pop up here saying texture tag okay and uh let's change the let's check off seamless and change the side uh or actually no change the projection to cubic okay and let's select the text and increase the depth just to make it more aesthetic just for the aesthetics okay and go to caps tab and um, change the cap to fillet cap and again fillet cap and then reduce uh, the radius to 2 and also here reduce the radius to 2 okay and uh, now let's add a plane. So go to objects menu and add a plane. Or no, never mind. Let's delete the plane. Let's go ahead and add a floor. So click on floor to add it. And uh, go to edit render settings. So if you missed it, it's this button over here, edit render settings. Okay, and uh, click on effect and ambient occlusion and effect global illumination and go to Irden sketch and cast examples put that to low and record density to low okay and that's just gonna reduce the render time and render it by clicking this button here if you if you're new to sima 4d and that's what we have uh, that's a text that we have so far so it looks pretty cool already all right, now one more thing is to keyframe. Um, <clears throat> I was checking the time here. Uh, keyframe the material so that it goes from uh, cold into hot. So uh, go to frame. Well, it depends on how long you want it to take to, uh, to heat up. So if you want it to take like three seconds to heat up, then you drag it to 90 frames, 90 frames is 3 seconds, 30 frames is 1 second. Depends on what, what format you use also. So let's just go to 90 frames or whatever. In 3 seconds it's going to heat up. So double click on the material to open up, open it up and uh, go to luminance. And let's see. And right here brightness. Um, so make sure you're, you're on frame 90 and beside brightness there's gonna be like a little circle and so hold control and click on the little circle right click on the little circle no sorry left click on the little circle so control and left click and it's gonna turn red okay and then go to frame 0 and reduce the brightness to 0 and control click and it's red the circle should be red and the brightness should be zero so so uh, now what we have is there we go voila magic <laughs> sima 4d magic okay uh, so we have the text heating up so that's pretty cool and now you can drag this keyframe 
down or up if you drag it down it's going to take a shorter time for it to change to uh, glowing and if you drag it up it's going to take longer time for it to heat up sort of speak okay uh, so yeah we're pretty much done uh, if you want you can add some lighting effects you can set up your scene whatever you like but we're pretty much done here thank you guys for watching uh, please again check out check out uh, the Marky show uh, he's pretty cool he has some nice gameplays and you know just show him some love as I said again um, and yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe please like my videos and see you guys next time